here and I feel like everyone's contributing and uh, you know we've been working hard and, and uh, I think we're playing a solid game right now and things are things are going our way. Uh, this weekend in particular uh, you dug two from behind and then buried, and buried all three. I mean you guys were the stronger team at the finish. Yeah, I think uh, you know you got to find win ways to win hockey games, and uh, whether you, you go down, uh, obviously you want to have a good start, but if you go down early, uh, you can't give up, and uh, you know to be be a team that's able to come back uh, from a deficit, I think that's a uh, really good quality to have in a hockey team, and it's uh, it's really nice to see the guys come together and uh, put in a full sixty and, and battle back in some games. There isn't a part of this team right now, at least over the last week and a half or two, that is struggling. I mean, everything is. Pardon me? Sorry. Everything seems to be working right now. I mean, over the last week and a half or two, it's, it's been good. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we're clicking on all cylinders right now. Our goaltending's been great. Uh, you know, I can't say enough about our goalies. They, uh, I thought yesterday, at key times, Howes made some big saves. And uh, tonight, Bartz, Bartz did the exact same thing. You know, there was times in the games where they got a good scoring opportunity. And he found a way to come up with a save and keep us in a good position. And, uh, you know, we were able to get it get those guys some goals and uh, get them some uh, goal support and win the games. Yeah, you, you know, being his first year, I think uh, he set the expectations higher for himself. Um, you know, he, you know, he had a hot start, obviously, the All-Star game and stuff, but um, it hasn't been going for him over the last five games. And I know he's been putting a lot of pressure on himself to, to score, especially, um, you know, five, six games ago, we were struggling to score there. Um, and that... Uh, uh, the Wheeling game and you know the Toledo game and uh, the Indy game we lost two one so there for a brief time there he's put a lot of pressure on himself and you know I just asked him tonight I said I really thought at the beginning of the year when he was scoring a lot it came from him playing good defensive hockey he was back checking hard he was stripping guys and I thought he got away from that a little bit recently he's just then he was just so focused on offense he wasn't putting the work in without the puck so I thought tonight was a better defensive effort from him he, he found himself retrieving a lot of pucks on the forecheck because he was skating and and working on the backside of battles and, and retrieving loose pucks and stuff so um, he had more offensive chances so um, he's got a birthday cake in there and he got a goal so it's good for him it seemed like you guys all did that tonight though back checking yeah well you know these these three and threes you know it's uh it's usually a team and what a nice you know privilege to have as a coach to be able to have guys like Nelson and Marcotta, your extra forward that you can throw in and bring some new energy to the lineup. And uh, when, you, when you get a little injury with uh, La Raza and Gia, it just goes to show you the depth that we had. So I thought that was definitely an advantage for us coming into tonight was the ability to, they're three and three and we're three and three, and the ability to put a couple new good players in the lineup brought some new uh, energy to the lineup, I thought. Had a good weekend overall, and in two of the games you came from behind, and you had solid efforts all three nights. That had me. Yeah, I'm really, really happy to see. Uh, you know, we know how how much uh, Mike Hauser has been playing lately, but uh, you know, we had the three goalie rotation here. Bart's he hadn't played since he had a shutout, and uh, it's not always a fair world that uh, we we live in. And you know, he's been such a good team player, and to see him play the way he played tonight, and and see the way the guys defended, I thought you know we really defended with purpose tonight. I thought we won a lot of races and we won a lot of battles. And um, so I thought the group played well, but again, Bart's made a few big saves for us. And uh, to see him get a win and get back into the lineup, I, I think means a lot to our team. How can you put a value on Bart? Because he's like the perfect backup. I mean, and he doesn't care if, if he, you know, he just comes in and plays and he's fine. Yeah, you know, again, it's, you know, he's been here uh, for a reason last year, you know, when Nagel went out against Allen, what, fifth, five, five, six games in the season. Uh, Bart was our number one guy last year. And uh, he took the number one job from Eric Hartzell, if you recall. And uh, so we have faith in him. You know, the group plays hard in front of him. And I think, you know, when you have a goalie that you really care about, you want to play in front of on a nightly basis and give everything, that's the way the guys feel about Bart. They, they know he's not the number one guy, they, but they know when he gets in that he's going to do everything he can to help the team win. And what he does in practice is he makes us all better the way he competes in practice. So um, it, it's good for the team when he can get in there. Uh, but right now, you know, we've got two goalies that are, that are playing good. And if we can stay out of the penalty box and, and, and keep our special teams heading in the right direction, we should be fine. The juggling of the injuries and the juggling of the ins and outs, it's working in your favor right now, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, you try to get on the right side of those things. Every team's dealing with it. You know, um, uh, we got Cheek back today. I don't know if you guys know yet. You know, so he, he came in today at 3.30, so he's back. Uh, we expect him, I think, to actually play. Um, at least the game here. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be, but um, again, it's it's uh, we got a lot of forwards around here, and you know, uh, probably here in the next two weeks, you're going to start seeing Hodgman getting fully healthy and probably wanting to get a snip back in the lineup, and and Crunker too is going to be coming off the IR. So you know, there's going to be a lot of competition, and uh, the best way of looking at it is um, healthy competition makes us better.